our new homeroom professor? Why, yes. Yes, Hilda. Shocking, isn't it? Is that true? You aren't quite what I had pictured. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. It's quite all right, Ignatz. I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights. Nah. Nah, my dad wouldn't make me do that. That would be his worst nightmare, probably. Don't tell me. You chose this class just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. Well, you're not entirely wrong. Though, Meredith, I believe her name was, was also quite persuasive. <laughs> Whoops. Now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. <laughs> Smart cloud. See, this is why I like you. Using that little noggin of yours. I don't mind. Oh, well then, since we're pretty close in age and all, I suppose formalities aren't all that necessary. Well, I'm still your boss, your teacher. Don't forget it. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment, becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. It's because I have player knowledge, which makes me superior to you. I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. <laughs> I bet I packed on more muscle than you. Oh, maybe. But let's uh, get in the sword fight and see who comes out on top. I doubt that. Apparently, our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the <laughs> knights, Saros. <laughs> she does actually. This... This somewhat reminds me of, um, Ike being, you know, child of a renowned mercenary, former knight. It's kind of funny, the similarities, the parallel. I heard. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. Thank you, Leone. Leone. The captain? Who are you talking about? Oh, just the greatest knight ever to live. Captain Geralt, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Saros and a peerless mercenary. Yes, Leone. You're exaggerating a bit. Huh. It doesn't matter what you think of him. Captain Geralt deserves nothing but respect. Hmm. Well, after working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. Thank you, Lysithia. Lysithia. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. Damn it, Hilda. Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their I mean, you're not wrong. a bad idea. You don't have to bat my with me to my face. Actually, I like that about you. Don't you agree, Marianne? Don't put her on the spot. Huh? Oh, um, yes, I suppose so. Well, we can find out for ourselves in battle. I can't wait to see what tactics you've learned from the captain. <laughs> Thank you, Leonie. A battle? Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. Yes, Raphael. I agree. As my first order as your teacher, I order us to have a party filled with lots of meat. How savage. I propose a nice conversation over tea instead. I am more than willing to procure some high quality leaves. We can bring some tea as well. Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. There's no meat involved. It's not a party. She probably meet an ale would be better. Are you all, wait, no, you're, all, you're probably all underage. Your common sensibilities are grating to my noble ears. Please quiet yourself. Sorry for the bickering, Teach. As you can see, the Golden Deer House is a rowdy bunch. We're not especially unified. I can see what I've gotten myself into. Thank you, Cloud. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. <laughs> but hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. I really am, actually. All right. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Ooh, thousand gold. From the Church of Saros as funding for this month's activities. That's cool, and my salary.
And finally... Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest oh, resides okay. within you. I was going to say, uh, it won't hurt a bit. I hope we finally get to Promise. engage in some combat. Definitely a bit different from the normal chapter slash, um, you know, the normal chapter routine. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything. Absolutely <laughs> everything about them. Is your cabinet oh, no. clear? This will oh, take no, a while. We're gonna, I'm, I'm going to walk out that door right now. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. Okay. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Um, bestowed by the goddess, you say? I, I might have something like that. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Okay. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. All right. And you believe I have a crest? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. Go right ahead, Hanneman. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. So it's a recessive trait. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline or something end even more. up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. Isn't that actually a crest on my ch on my uh, chest? That is I suppose that's a, a bit different than what he's talking about. Itself, after all. Do what you can to find out. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. Okay. What is this? Nani? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? Oh, what are the odds? Quite high, actually, as a protagonist. To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. To be How fair, I am personally thrilling. beloved by the goddess Sothis. <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. Thank you, Hanneman. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. I mean, all I did was hold my arm out in front of a device. Hmm. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... Are you saying I'm not symmetric? Don't be a jerk. What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than you. Let's usual. just leave him to his work. Yeah. He's gonna take a while. With each moon, professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. Okay. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Cool. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. This is a very different game. Monastery's schedule features different events on different days. Each week you will have one day off. You may choose an activity from the list. Your only options first will be explore. Select the calendar with the directional buttons to view the schedule. Okay. Alright, and you just experienced the smoothest transition of all time. 
Couldn't even tell that... This is much later for me. If I hadn't just said anything. Okay. Let's see, we have... A map. Right with all... Oh, Hubert! We're past Hubert's birthday. Damn, I don't know who that is, but, um... That's too bad. Rescue at dawn. That was the, um... First prologue quest. Okay. Right, and then we'll have the next event on the 30th. Lovely. Can we, um... Now we can't go to the next... Oh, view schedule details. Alright. Oh, and then we have seminar. Assign a lecturer to hold a seminar that will increase unit's skill, experience, and motivation. Battle, take on a mission, auxiliary, paralogue, or quest battle. And rest, spend the whole day, or spend the last day of the week resting. The motivation of your allies will increase. Okay. So we have some sort of morale function that I'll need to be wary of, it seems. I imagine that will, um, increase or decrease stats in a similar way to biorhythm in previous games. Would be my guess, at least. I guess I'll find out for sure later. Okay. Use schedule details. It's your first day off since arriving at the monastery. Use this time to get to know the students, the professors, and the facilities. Didn't we sort of do that already? Alright, well, I guess that's, um... Ooh. First menu. So, it looks like I have a roster of everyone in my class, including myself. That's cool. The lovely Marianne. And so we can see everything about them. Fantastic. Oh, she is faith level too. I assume that heals. Can I check details? Grants plus six hit. Avoid. And crit when using white magic. Ooh. Alright, let's, um... Oh, she has a Nosferatu. Huh. <laughs> oh, that one's, um... Yeah, I remember that one. I don't remember if it was light magic last time I saw it, though. Recovers HP equal to 50% of the damage dealt. Sweet. And she has a training sword. Excellent. Alright, let's get out of here. Before I get caught up in doing things I don't need to be doing. Support. Yes, please. Ooh, CBA. Very cool. Now the question is, how limited are we in the number of supports we can get? Because if it's, um... Is it, if it's just that they have to do attacks next to each other, that's kind of better, because then I can get as many as I want. Otherwise, it'll be... I'll have to be very careful about who I choose. Um, quests. We've already done that quest. This is basically just my convoy. Okay. Did I see one for, like, gifts? Oh, yeah, I did. And fish. Or seeds. Okay, what? Lost items. Like lost and found? These are all this is all food. That's not what I thought it would be. I thought they'd have like weapons and stuff. Inventory. Okay. No, I'm not gonna unequip anything right now. Last time I did that was in Path of Radiance. And I lost uh Adept on Soren. Items, anything? Oh, she has an iron axe. Okay. Iron sword, good. Cool. Battalions. No battalions standing by. Alright. I'm sure I'll learn more about that later. You can change your unit's class as well. cool. Anyways, 
for real this time. Ghouls. Wait. What does it mean by ghouls? Let's see, Claude. Oh, you can choose how they want to train. Focus on bow and authority skills. I can choose to have him focus on something else instead. That's cool. I'm not going to affect that yet. I'll let him keep going bow. It suits him. And maybe that's what the morale does. It affects how well they promote sword and faith. Oh, sure. For now. Alright, for real this time. Explore. For double real. So, this is my room. I thought I heard a girl's voice, but I must have been imagining things. No. That was probably, what was her name, Sothis? I think so. That was probably Sothis. Speak with the house leader. That would be... Mr. Golden Dare himself. Quest information. Fresh catch. Greetings all. Please assist me by catching a delectable fish for the St. Sethlene... Sethlene... Celebration. Okay. Um... Oh, I don't... So I could fast travel normally to these quests if I had already visited. But I have to actually visit to actually get the quest. Okay. I'd like some help growing vegetables. And share a bite. The food in the dining halls. Petty. Oh no, the food in the dining hall is pretty appetizing. Is anyone interested in sharing a meal? Ladies preferred. <laughs> okay. And no weekly announcements. Excellent. Hmm. All right. Nice bed. So. Hello, Seteth. Can I talk to you? These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Why? Thank you. It looks like I actually slept there. The so. Students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. Interesting. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Yes, senses of propriety, propriety I imagine are very important in this society. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Yes, yes, I will be... Wait, am I a noble or not? I don't think so. In other words, I should avoid a fraternization with the uh, nobles, except my students. Though, uh, technically, I should probably avoid fraternization with my students. But we will anyways. Hey, Edelgard. Hello. I trust you're eager to face the Black Eagles in battle. Of course. I look forward to seeing what you can do. I'm sorry I didn't go for you. Next time, maybe. Enjoy the thrill of anticipation while it lasts. Soon, you'll wish you had chosen to lead our house instead. <laughs> yes. Uh, maybe. Can I talk to him, too? If you continue to insist on distracting me, I will have no choice but to get rid of you. <laughs> that sounds like a threat. Joking. Of course. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's funny, Hubert, though. Puppy! Oh, he's a good boy. Little beagle, I think. Yuritsa sure seems strong. Yuritsa? I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I think so, huh? I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. Yeah. Well, I am pretty young. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. Well, I could probably take you, though. Don't count on that, Buster. Not a chance. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. <laughs> yeah, give it time there, Casper. You know, I'm actually uh, happy to see those Merlons up there, but I can't quite tell if there's actual battlements to make use of them. 
which, uh... That's so. Yeah. Yeah, that is so. It's cool, though. It's beautiful. Beautiful monastery slash castle slash fortress. Professor. Yes? Uh, nothing. Anyways, let's continue exploring. My number one enemy. Steps. She never learned how to use stairs. That's a lie. She can use these ones. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Who did you get? Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Well, if you prove yourself, maybe you can join ours. But we'll see. As it were. Hello, Dimitri. I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... At? Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of a class assignment in the future. <laughs> no, Dimitri. Don't worry, it's good to get excited for your assignments. And I look forward to, um, kicking your ass. Let me know when you are hungry. Okay. I will make you a quality meal. As thanks for your service to his highness. I... Oh, you mean saving his ass. Okay. View quest. I have a request. Grow plants in the greenhouse. Take to-dos, seeds, in the green... And ask the greenhouse keeper to... How to grow and harvest the crops. Wonderful. I accept. I can't turn down a quest. Oh, there's Claude. Let's, um, avoid them for now. Or not. Let's talk to her first. So, about the mock battle that's coming up? Yes, you Hilda? You don't mind me sitting it out, do you? I do mind. Why? Do you have a good excuse? As a fragile maiden, I'm useless in battle. I'll just cheer everyone on <laughs> instead. <laughs> well... That's a decent excuse, but I think you're pulling my leg. Did you hear the news, Teach? Looks like we're gonna have a good old mock battle between the houses. Yes, I think it was on Tuesday. The Golden Deer House isn't exactly what you'd call an elite group just yet, so you may want to whip everyone into shape with some extra training. Will do. What's that guy doing in the background? After all, I didn't quite catch is it. only fun if you win. To that end, I'd better prepare as well. Dude, stop singing through the floor. Um, yes, yes, you better prepare as well. You know, I was researching what it's like to live here long before I even enrolled. Want me to fill you in, Teach? Sure. Facilities. The students and teachers of the Officers Academy are all free to use the facilities within the monastery. Mm-hmm. That means you can chow down with students at the dining hall or get in some one-on-one -on -one sparring at the training grounds. Cool. As you explore the monastery, try visiting the various facilities and talking to the people who live here. Sounds good to me. I love the, um, semi-open world nature of this. In addition to the more traditional fire emblem I assume we'll get with the events. If you haven't noticed, there are bulletin boards in various places around here. Yes, you I have noticed. Them out to see posted requests or to find more information about the market. The market? I hear that fulfilling requests can even earn you the right to use more facilities. Ooh. I think I saw something like Rona. The guy is still at it. The bulletin board gets updated frequently, so it's probably a good idea to check it once a month. Okay. Yeah, the, um, but I was, I was gonna say, I, I think I saw something called Renown earlier. That's probably what gets you access to facilities and encourages students to join your class instead. Far be it from me to tell you how to use the facilities, but it's a good idea to be mindful of how you're using your time. Mm. If you don't think about how you're spending your free time, it'll be over before you know it. Oh, okay. 
so I can only do so many things each day. Oof. Okay. You can explore the monastery as much as you like, but certain activities will only be available while you have activity points. When you're done exploring, plus press the L button to end your free time and proceed to the next week. Okay, okay, okay. Here at the Officers Academy, even professors are expected to study often to help maintain their strong leadership skills. Of course. Yes, that is something I know very well. In other words, students and teachers alike have to strive to grow in every possible field. Your professor level determines your maximum activity points. Raise it by reading books, taking part in activities, and interacting with students. Hmm, cool. Yes, in order to help students, you, the teacher, must constantly maintain your edge. Alright, let's exit out of there. Oh, complete. How many activity points do I have? One? One activity point I think I see? Do some gardening in the greenhouse. Where is the greenhouse? It's on the map somewhere. I think I can... S that direction. Hmm, what do we have here? Mint leaves. Smithing material. Arcane crystal. Now I'm feeling very RPG-ish. <laughs> looting everything. I love it. God, this is a beautiful garden. The hedges are nice. The paths, the stonework. Ah. Oh. I would love to go to a school at a place like this. Oh, the whole Nintendo Amiibo thing. Yeah, I know nothing about it. And I probably... This is probably relevant for me. No, I don't have an... Am yeah, I don't... I don't... I don't have an Amiibo. Alright. Professor, nothing to report. Good, good on you, soldier. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? All the time. It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. That's okay, I have Sothis. She has turn back time powers. And there's always saves coming, but uh, let's try to avoid that as much as possible. by not getting our students killed in the first place. I can't go past her? Damn. Oh my god. Pegasus! Flying in the sky. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised, I mean, Pegasus Knights are always a thing in these games. That's just lovely though. 